And today I'm going to go over a short technique on how to create the tilt shift effect. If you just Google tilt shift on Google Images, you can see a bunch of examples. And basically, the effect is where you blur out kind of the foreground and background, and you end up with this uh, almost like a scale model look, like you're looking at a miniature model of a city. Um, a lot of people go to, say, a sporting event, an aerial view of a Wimbledon match, or uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City for shooting from a window, um, taking a photo of, you know, the parade on the street, or if you, uh, maybe a beach scene, as long as it's uh, something from kind of above, like a window, or somewhere where you're, uh, you have a lot of people, um, or, you know, objects like a bunch of cars or some kind of scene from above works best for these kind of shots. So uh, these two are covered under Creative Commons. I'm going to link to the original file and the credit attribution on the website you can see in the description below here on YouTube. So you can download those and use these specific ones if you want or you can follow along with your own example. First thing you want to do is press Q on the keyboard. Notice up here it says Quick Mask. We're in Quick Mask mode. And next thing you want to do is press G for a gradient right here, or you can just select it over here on the toolbar. And hold down Shift so we maintain a 90 degree angle vertically, but what we're going to do is click and drag somewhere where we want the non-blurry area to be. And before you do do that, make sure this fourth uh, option up on the top is selected, all right, the reflected gradient. So I'm just going to click and drag down something like so. All right. And you can press Q to come out of quick mask mode. And what you'll see is we have this area up here selected and the area down there selected. want to soften the edge a little bit. So go ahead and go to Select, then Modify, then Feather. And for this example, I'm going to do like 10 pixels. And next, go to Filter, Blur, Lens Blur. And let's bring the radius down just a little bit. And you can see kind of preview of what it'll look like. All right. If you think it's not enough is covered, you can actually go back, just deselect. Go back into quick mask mode by pressing Q and then choose the gradient again. Make sure that fourth one's selected and you can click and drag this out a little bit longer if you want, like that. Press Q again, select, modify, feather, and then go to filter, blur, Lens blur. All right. And you can, with the higher resolution file, you're going to do the radius maybe a little bit larger. Um, not necessarily with all of them, but depending on your photo. If you do it too much, it's too much of a contrast. And if you do it too little, there's really not any blur at all. So uh, I think for this example, 14 probably works. Click OK. And then you can press. Um, Control D to deselect, or you can just go to select and then deselect, or Command D on the Mac. All right, and a couple more touches here. If we go to Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation, bring the saturation a little bit up, and you can make sure Preview Select, and you can preview it, make it look more like a scale model. You just want to bring the saturation up a little bit. I'm probably just do plus 21 on this example. Also, if you go to Image Adjustments, Curves, make a little bit of an S here. Make a little bit more contrast there with the colors and click OK. And there we go, we have the tilt shift effect. All right, almost looks like a little model. There. So here's another example, really quick. Press Q, we're in quick mask mode. Press G, make sure this fourth one is selected up on the top. I'm going to hold shift, click and drag. And then 
select or actually I'm sorry press Q to get out of quick mask mode it makes this a selection then go to select modify feather I'm just gonna do five pixel this time see the difference and then go to filter blur lens blur and the radius I bring it down to 10 on this example it's okay and then control or command D to deselect image adjustments hue saturation I can bring the saturation a little bit up Maybe plus 21 and then image adjustments curves and make a little bit of a subtle S here click OK and then there we go we have foreground and background blur it out in the middle ground they almost look like little scale model individuals alright so that's the effect do that with many different types of scenery uh, for this specific look in Adobe Photoshop thanks